what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel in another video today we're going to be doing a fluorescent flip cup over a Payne's gray background well base coat i should say all these colors are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint there is one drop of the ogx coconut milk hair serum in each one of these colors with the exception of the base How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm over here just pouring my heart out, as Julie would say. <laughs> I am gonna add a little bit of this Payne's Gray just to the center of this cup. Not very much. There is no oil in it. I just, I'm curious to see what it does, if anything. It'd be really cool if it created some really nice lacing and stuff but we will see i'm not sure yet all right but yeah over here just having a great time painting with you guys what is a technique that you guys would like to see i have been messing with blooms here in arizona been having a lot of hard times with blooms here just because of the humidity the paint the uh, cell activator is so much thinner than the paint underneath that the cell activator dries and then the, the layer of paint underneath the cell activator is still wet and as it dries it pulls it apart so everywhere that I end up with lacing I end up with cracks so I am working through a solution here tried a bunch of different things nothing's really worked the way I want it but do you guys have any ideas how to make it work let me know in the comments that would be awesome and I have been watching a lot of painting videos here recently and I've noticed that there's quite a few of you that are tagging me as inspiration for your videos and that is super awesome um, was thinking about maybe doing some videos where I look, where I'm watching your videos reacting. So if that's something you would like me to do with your videos, maybe get like some promotion or exposure, I guess. Uh, just make sure you tag at JMO Painting in your description, and that way I'll know that you're okay with me reviewing it. And who knows? Because I, I believe the artist community, we gotta kind of help each other. YouTube's really hard, and I'm, I know I'm saying that, and I have, you know, a decent following over here, pretty big, but YouTube is very hard. So yeah, if that's something you want, just tag me in your description. All right, let's put this base coat down now. I don't think I've ever used a Payne's Gray as a base. But let me just spin that. I want to widen that circle just a little bit. All right, and here's our cup. Nicely layered. Wow, that was like one of the cleanest flips I think I've ever done. That was really good. Wow. Had a little bubble right there. All right. So let's go ahead and flip this bad boy over. Oh, I already love it. Just letting it slowly escape like that. Really cool. Look at the cup. That is wicked looking in a good way. All right, let's see if we can get these bubbles with the heat gun. So I don't wanna use the torch if I don't have to. I'd rather have some control over where the cells are. I'm 
bubble right there is really stubborn. I might have to get it with a skewer. A lot of the bubbles aren't doing what I want, unfortunately. I'd prefer not to use the torch, but I think I have to. So there's the bubble there that that's just a dried out skin now because I tried for too long. Let me see if I can get it out. Well, happens sometimes. Let me try to fix this as much as I can before I go to the torch. There we go, that one's gone. These bubbles are stubborn. All right. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about if I want to drizzle white through it. I don't think I do though. No, I don't. So I'm gonna take some of this. I have some excess white from a previous pour going around the outside. And give the paint a little bit of something to flow over. Spread some of this around. There we go. These colors are really nice. And I do like the little dark that is peeking through, so I'm, I'm glad I didn't drizzle white through it. Hold on. Maybe while it's spinning, I'll give it a quick little torch. That way those cells can immediately start to open up. Mm, yeah. All right. Spin it. Let's see what that does, if anything. I feel like it should do something. Oh, it did. It made like little tiny cells and they did grow a little bit. That's really cool. We've got some pomegranate cells going on there. Nice cool bullseye cells going wherever the torch kind of kissed as it was spinning. Big old cells underneath. All right, so now I'm gonna take the heat gun one final time. And see what we can draw to the surface. It's really pretty. Dang. All right, let me bring you guys down. I want you to see it. it. Looks like we do have some purling starting around the edges from that white, but we'll see what happens while it's drying. There are so many really cool things going on in this. Couple bubbles I have to deal with that I'm noticing. And then like I was saying around the edge where that white was, it looks like we have a little bit of purling starting. We'll see if it tries to take over. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.